What is up, Avengers? It's Avengers Weekend. Happy Avengers Weekend. If you haven't seen Avengers Age of Ultron, I'm totally going to spoil the post credit scene for you right now, so look away. Change the channel. Go watch another one of our fun videos. <laughs> okay, you've been warned. I don't feel bad anymore. So that Avengers Age of Ultron post credit scene, it featured none other than my man, the Mad Titan Thanos. Nod your head if you're excited. Yeah, he's excited. So Thanos, the, 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 the Infinity Gauntlet rises up, and Thanos grabs it, he puts it on, and he says, fine, I'll do it myself, likely referring to destroying the Earth. He's tried to do this before. He gave Loki the army of Chitauri. That didn't work. He watched Ultron try and fail. He, obviously, that didn't work. So here he is. He's got the Infinity Gauntlet. He plans on destroying maybe the whole universe. So let me give you some backstory on Thanos, which will also give you backstory on that Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos is one of the last of the Eternals that they lived on Saturn's moon Titan. He was born a little bit mutilated and different from the group. He was always a misfit. He never fit in, and he was obsessed with death to the point that he killed his own mother to try to find out how somebody could bring someone like him into the world. So he becomes so obsessed with death after destroying all these planets and all this stuff that death pr presents itself to Thanos in the form of a woman, and it's a woman that Thanos can never attain the love of. Do you see what you girls do to us? I'm just kidding. So... Thanos just wants to impress her. He wants her to love him, so he will kill anything for her. So he gets his hands on the Infinity Gauntlet and all six Infinity Stones. We've seen four Infinity Gems in the movies so far. It, it's power, soul, reality, and um, the Mind Gem, which is now in the Vision's head. It's going to be interesting to see how Thanos gets all those, wrangles them up, and puts them in the Gauntlet. With this Gauntlet, he can literally do anything. With the snap of a finger, he just eliminates half of sentient life in the universe, which included Daredevil... Uh, a bunch of the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. So uh, the Fantastic Four and the X-Men, we, we know we don't have to worry about because they're not in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But Daredevil, he's, he's totally there. He might get, he might get uh, killed by that snap of Thanos' fingers. So the remaining superheroes, they band together. This includes Adam Warlock and Silver Surfer and so many other heroes and all the Avengers. They band together to go and try to stop Thanos. And Thanos, trying to impress death, Let's, he toys around with them and lets them think they have a shot, but ultimately he, he kills almost all of them. He decapitates Iron Man. He beats the Hulk to death. He puts Cyclops, the X-Man, his, uh, his head in a glass case so he suffocates. He, he, he backhands Steve Rogers and breaks his neck. So they all, they all die, and they had a plan for Silver Surfer to swoop in and grab the glove. It fails. So what ends up happening is Thanos takes the form of Eternity and Nebula takes the glove while he's distracted and vulnerable and she writes all the wrongs and everyone comes back to life thank god our heroes win right okay well sorry i get excited that is that's probably similar to what's going to happen that seems a little bit too similar for x to x-men days of future past for marvel to go that route it's gonna be really fun to see how they adapt the infinity gauntlet storyline or maybe the infinity war storyline it's such a fun comic i totally advise you to read it if you can it's available in trade paperback it's a, I know I just spoiled most of it, but it's such a great read. It's one of my favorites. One of the most important takeaways, though, from that post credit scene, though, is the fact that Thanos is in Asgard. When we first saw the Infinity Gauntlet in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it was in Asgard in Odin's vault. The Frost Giants were trying to raid it, and the Destroyer destroyed them. And we saw it as they ran by. It was a quick flash, but we saw it, so we know it's there. So we know from Thor The Dark World that Loki is sitting on the throne in Asgard as Odin. We also know that Thanos was the man behind the curtain in the Avengers supplying Loki with that Chitauri army. So Loki and Thanos are totally bros. Loki probably let Thanos in. He just walked right in, took the gauntlet, and made some promise to Loki. And whether he'll stay true on that promise, who knows? I doubt it. Uh, will Loki and Thanos team up in, in Infinity War? It's a possibility. Will we th see Thanos in Ragnarok now that we know he's in Asgard? I hope so. Thanos is a great villain. Marvel needs great villains to make these movies great. Look at look at Loki and look at the Avengers. That, that was such a great movie because Loki was such a great villain. People loved Ultron and, and the Winter Soldier. The villains are such a key part to these movies. I really hope we see a lot of Thanos. So the road to Infinity War is going to be a long one. We've got a lot of great movies on the way. Uh, Ant-Man coming up in July. Civil War next year. Uh, <laughs> Doctor Strange. Uh, Spider-Man. It's going to be a lot of fun, so make sure you subscribe to our channel for more news, interviews, and clips and theories just like this. And follow comicbook.com on Twitter, at comicbook.com, for all of your news in the meantime. Stay up to date with everything. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Avengers Age of Ultron, describe it in one word. 
Power. Awesome. Brilliant. Awesome. Radical. Um. Cool. Cool. And what do you think? Um. Awesome. <laughs> Amazing. More phenomenal. More phenomenal.